Hello, this is Cotton Soups, and welcome back to the video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but in today's video, I will be talking about the newest Lumion of the Sweet Retreat update, Sinogre. Sinogre, in my opinion, well, I don't really have an opinion of this because it's quite too early to think of what its fullest potential is, but in today's video, I'll be giving you my opinion on how you can use Sinogre and how you can try and use it on your team or try to counter it. So, this video is on how to use and counter Sinogre. So, in order to know how to use Sinogre, we must ask the question, what role does Sinogre play? Well, thankfully, its base stats kind of does help us answer that question. One thing to know about Sinogre is that you should never try switching in on any melee attacker, because 61 melee defense is pretty low. To give you an idea, this is lower than Mbit's base melee defense, and Mbit is a prevolution. So yeah, also using melee attack is not the best thing on this thing because 35 melee attack compared to your range attack is really, really low. However, it does have redeeming qualities with its energy stat, melee defense, well not melee defense, range defense, and speed. Its speed tier is pretty good because this lets you outspeed stuff like Ikazune, offensive Tyrexes, uh, Cosmures, Valkyries, Borox, Wobblisks, um, Mutagons if they're not running Quick Punch. So yeah, this is actually pretty good on Sinogre. While it isn't the best speed tier because a bunch of other stuff does outspeed you, this is pretty good in its own speed tier. Its range of defense of 81 is honestly good because it's comparable to other offensive Lumions like Valkyrie. And of course having good bulk is pretty good for Sinogre and for any Lumion. And its energy stat of 99 is pretty high. It does get you over the benchmark of 250, so this means you can throw out a lot more moves than other Lumions. However, its best stats is obviously its range attack and HP. HP of 112 and range attack of 110. HP is pretty good because it's comparable to a bunch of walls in this metagame and this lets you tank a lot of hits, especially with your range attack, not range attack, range defense. And it kind of balances out your weak melee defense. And its range attack is 110. It does let you have the same, well, similar damage powers to stuff like Ferroglyph, Metronet, and um, Zulong. It's not particularly the best thing because other range attackers like Wintrix, Valkyrie, and Zephalin all hit harder than this thing. So th that's one thing you have to watch out for. So, what role does Sinogre play? Well, it can be a wall breaker with your range attack and your defenses. You get some setup, which I'll be talking about later, which makes you a pretty good setup wall breaker, which is probably what I'll be using in the next few slides. It can be your wall breaker, or it can use its defenses to set up, like I said earlier. While it can, while its defenses are pretty low compared to other stuff, with the setup you're going to be getting, you can make this below average defenses look pretty strong. So with that out of the way, I'll be telling you what you can use Sinogre for and what Sinogre doesn't want to go up against. So let's get on with its weaknesses and resistances. Sinogre's typing is Spirit, which in all honesty is probably not that great for defense wise. Its three weaknesses is Light, Ancient, Spirit. Light types aren't really as much common as before, but there are light types you should watch out for like Namare, Luminami, and Falkyrie. Probably more so of Namare because Namare resists all of your moves so far, which is obviously not a great thing. Ancient types is probably the thing you'll have to watch out for most is because Zulong, Obsidragon, and Oxidrake are all common ancient types that will definitely try to switch in and hit you pretty hard while you can hit Oxidrake hard with one of your moves later on, it's not really the best to try and 1v1 an Oxidrake, so I wouldn't particularly do that. And your third weakness is obviously Spirit. Harvestek in your soul is probably the best Spirit representation, and I guess you can put Revenine down there. And the biggest thing about those Spirit types is because they're either melee or they outspeed you, so that's not really great for Sinogre. However, it does have good resistances too. Typeless, Dark, Electric, and Toxic. Typeless is kind of, well, not very common. I guess you can count Taoshinu, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Dark types aren't as common as before, thanks to Eclipse. 
but I guess if you do want to try and switch in on its Eclipse using Gamma, no not Gamma Pulse, Dark Surge, then you could try, but otherwise I wouldn't try and do that. Electric types like Joltooth, Zulong, Elephage, Metatooth are all electric types you can try switching in on, so I would try doing that as well, but I wouldn't literally try switching on, on a Zulong or a Joltooth. And lastly, toxic types, stuff like Barblast, Swolder, and Venolin are obviously really great toxic types to switch in onto and do some damage, and stuff like Gobademic as well. So, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about Sunogre's set, which is pretty interesting, so let's get on with that. So, the first set for Sunogre is an offensive set with the ability Sweet Touch or Shakedown. Shakedown is probably the best one if I'm gonna have to pick because letting you know what the opponent is running, stuff like shells, pearls, specialty boots, plushies, and other stuff is pretty valuable. And Sweet Touch is for low, low time spenders, which in all honesty, you can probably run Sweet Touch because Shakedown is pretty... Well, it's not really a big improvement, but Sweet Touch is definitely a decent ability on Sunogre. Its moves of choice is going to be Spectral Burst, Boom Bash, and Peace of Mind. You want these three moves, or you can switch out Peace of Mind if you're going to be running a Fade Out with something else like Smite or Provoke. Spectral Burst is mainly because it's your stab move. Boom Bash is so you not get walled by its Eclipse and other light types, and as well hitting the metal types pretty hard, which is a pretty good quality. And Peace of Mind is to set up as much damage so you can deal as much damage as possible. And the last 4th move slot can be occupied by Smite, Fade Out, or Provoke. Provoke is basically there so you can stop the opponent from setting up while you set up. So they're basically forced to stay in or switch out. Fade Out is mostly there if you want to get out of the battle as fast as you can and dealing some damage while you're there. And Smite is for cutting the opponent's HP in half which will make you have an easier time wall breaking that. While I wouldn't run Fade Out on this thing, I guess you can try running it and not running Peace of Mind and run something like Provoke or Smite, which is something that you probably might consider. Its personality of choice is going to be Smart and Nimble and Very Frail. Very Frail is because we're not using any melee attacking moves other than Smite, but not Smite other than a Fade Out, but that's not really what I'm trying to say. Smart lets you hit as hard as possible with your range attack, and Nimble lets you outspeed some things which I'll be talking about in the TP section. And the item of choice is going to be Health Amulet or Milkshake. Health Amulet is pretty great on this thing because you can use this to passively gain recovery as you set up, which is obviously a lot more safer than having no recovery. And Milkshake is for something that if you do not have well, if you already have a health amulet slot taken, then Milkshape is obviously a good option. And the TPs finally is going to be 12 energy, so you can use 6 or 5, um, 6 or 5 spectral bursts in succession, and then a smite or peace of mind. And 86 HP is pretty much leftovers. 192 speed lets you outspeed nimble Falkyries at max speed, and stuff like Cosme uh, max speed Cosmere Cracks. Ikazunes, Tyrexes, and other stuff, and 200 range attack is to hit as hard as possible so you can deal as much damage as possible. So, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about the next set, which in, in my opinion is probably the best set overall. The Synagore setup set is going to be Sweet Touch or Vigilant. While you can run Shakedown on this thing, I prefer the more defensive abilities, so yeah, that's pretty much it. This, the moveset of choice is going to be a lot more simple and you can run Spectral Burst, Boom Bash, Provoke, and Peace of Mind. You can run some other moves like Smite and Fade Out if you're pretty cool with that, but this is a setup set so these four moves is pretty great. Peace of Mind and Provoke is going to be your main two moves because provoking the Lumion so they can set up while you set up is an awesome trait. The personality of choice is going to be Smart, Clever, Very Frail so you can deal some damage and then have enough bulk to set up which is obviously really great and the item choice is going to be health amulet milkshade or spectral pearl S spectral pearl is mainly for the ranged spirit types or the melee spirit types in the game stuff like your soul revenine harvest and other stuff like that running this pearl will help you with that but i wouldn't really recommend it because i, I value recovery more than the the weakness to spirit types and the TPs is 200 HP for max HP, 
range attack is 200 range attack is because you want to hit as hard as possible 12 energy is the same as last time and the 32 speed is actually to outspeed 32 speed Cosmere Cracks while you do not do as much damage as you do to Cosmere Cracks and other Lumians it is definitely a thing that you have to try and outspeed so you can potentially revenge kill it and 56 range defense is pretty much leftovers so yeah that is one thing to consider setup set is actually pretty great which i'll be talking about later in this section so yeah with that out of the way the sets is done so i guess we talk about what sinogre is weak to and what it can abuse so let's get along with that the best sinogre counter in this game is probably namare because namare is being can be able to resist boom bash and is immune to spectral burst so that is obviously a great trait to have not to mention that it can hit it hard on its own and also it can set up on it well if you're going up against a more defensive sinogre like the setup set nimari might not be your best option but it definitely is the best option out of these three Ili Iguana is more of the pivot role, same with Luminami. Mostly Light Types is your best answer to this, so you have to keep that in mind. Ili Iguana is mostly there to pivot out or hit the Gamma Pulse if it's not going to try and set up. And Luminami there is pretty much just there for to, for pivoting. So yeah, if you want to use a counter for Sinogur, then Namara is your best option. And of course, Seti Mars is your last option and probably the best option in just pure damage because unlike these other three range attackers city mars is not affected by peace of mind so city mars can deal as much damage to sinogre as possible while sinogre can do as much damage to it some offensive checks is obviously teclipse zulong and namare teclipse is more safe than other stuff while it does get hit hard by boom bash you can try switching in on spectral burst and threatening it out with gamma pulse Numare again is a good offensive check because it can also be defensive and offensive so that is one thing to consider. And Zulong is obviously a great thing to have because while it doesn't resist Boom Bash, Boom Bash is, does not do a lot of damage to Zulong which is pretty great and Zulong with Smart Nimble and uh, Power Cuffs or the Ancient Essence can hit pretty hard. It's pretty much a 2 hit KO for the Zulong which is really great as well. So, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about its teammate, which is probably the thing you're probably looking in this video for. Some offensive teammates that you want to run is Zephalin, Wintrix, Valkyrie, and Namare. Namare, just like being a good counter, is also a pretty great um, teammate because it does help out with the weaknesses that Sinogre has. Namare resists all of them, which is a pretty great trait to have. However, if you're looking for more meta stuff, Wintrix and Zephalin is probably your best option because Wintrix pretty much destroys everything that is in the defensive counters other than, I guess, Iliguana, but that's about it. Zephalin, while it isn't as strong as Wintrix, it can, it's a pretty safe option because it has more bulk and it works pretty much the same as Sinogre, so that's pretty great. If you do not want to run the three of these Lumians, then you can run Valkyrie, which is, on all honesty, probably what I'm going to be doing. Because Valkyrie does provide the strong damage against all of those checks that I mentioned earlier. And while it doesn't have the best matchup against Setamars, it does have pretty comfortable matchups against Eliguana, Namare, and Luminami. Some good defensive teammates is obviously Eliguana, Stratosaur, Tyrex, and Maomurk. Maomurk is pretty great because while it, it doesn't particularly match up its resistances pretty well, it does wall a bunch of the defensive checks and counters that Sinogre has which is pretty good for Maomurk. Tyrex is mainly there for the air resistance and also providing the electric immunity which is in all, in all honesty pretty great. Any team with a Tyrex in it is pretty great. Stratosaur is mainly there so you can wall Luminami, wall Namare, wall Setamars if it's not running Thunder Chomp, and you can, while it is getting countered by Eliguana, that is one thing to consider. And Eliguana does particularly well against Namare, and not really as well against Setamars, but it does have the option to do that as well. 
Iliguana is probably the best as in terms of resistances because it does resist light, ancient, and spirit, which is probably the defensive teammate you're looking for. But other than that, that's a teammate that you want to run. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about what Sinogar can do against a bunch of Lumians, so I'll get on with that. Some things to abuse is Taoshinu, Stratosaur, Chartiki, and Venelin. The main reason why I'm putting these Lumians in this tier is because, well, Sinogar can pretty much provoke all of them and then set up. If Unless Chartiki doesn't provoke you first, you're going to be having a field day with Chartiki because you're going to be passively regaining health while it's helplessly hoping to poison you with muck blast which is in which is not really the best. Venelin might be a little bit more scarier considering that it can run poison and it can hit you pretty well not hit you pretty hard but poison does do a decent chunk over time. Taoshin is probably your most safest and most dangerous option because while it is a melee attacker that is a typeless type which you resist, it does have the possibility of running blind spot banner, so I would test that first before setting up on Taoshinu. And Stratosaur, while it is probably the most dangerous out of all of these options because it's the most strongest, unless Stratosaur doesn't get a provoke, or a, no, not a provoke, unless it does get a magnify on you first before provoking it, you're going to be winning against Stratosaur no matter what. So that's the end of the things I'll be talking about, let's get along with the conclusion. So conclusion time, well in my opinion Sunogar is not really the best Lumion in my opinion. Sunogar is like one of those fine Lumions that has a great niche but overall you really do not want it on your team. But if I were to pick, Sunogar is a fun option, it's a pretty good um, off meta Lumion. I don't think it's going to be touching the meta anytime soon. Smite is definitely a great move on Sunogar and probably is the best move on its kit. But other than that, I think Sunogar will fall down to Yu and probably will never see the light of OU again. I might be wrong, but hey, if you want to prove me wrong, tell me in the comments. I do not mind at all. So, out with that out of the way, um, like the video if you're really like it and found it informational and subscribe if you're into that i make other content like hcc's and planning to branch out so if you really want to see more informational videos then check out my channel there is a bunch of stuff as well so subscribe and like the video if you're into that and of course one thing to remember zulong is still a dumpster fire